This is the new Microtubes Infinity from Dark Glass Electronics. And like their two previous releases, the Atom and the Alpha Omega Photon, the Microtubes Infinity is truly something special where it combines that studio and live rig into one powerhouse of a machine that has so many possibilities under the hood. But now it has the classic and familiar circuits of the vintage Microtubes and the B3K with it too. So I guess this was sort of just the natural progression of what we are going to get next. So basically what you have here are the classic circuitries of the vintage microtubes and the B3K all in one pedal, but with so many more features added on top of that too. But before we dig into the microtubes infinity and for the sake of transparency, this video is sponsored by Dark Glass Electronics and I am one of their artists as well. Hell, I even have a few presets on this microtubes infinity coming out the day that this pedal comes out too. And even though this is a sponsored video, Dark Glass Electronics has absolutely no say in what my opinion is or any sounds in this video at all either. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. So what's really cool about the Microtubes Infinity is it's not just simply the vintage Microtubes and the B3K in one pedal and that's it. It's a lot more than that and it's so exciting again to see all these extra features added into just one pedal and it's just so exciting that people can use this as their entire live rig too. For your controls you have five knobs, six touchscreen sliders as well as three rotary foot switches too. For your knobs, these are the pretty basic and straightforward controls of the EQ, drive, as well as your overall output too. Going from left to right, you have compression, drive, tone, or also era, and then you have blend and level. Then for the touch sensitive sliders, this is where your main EQ control is. And what's really cool is you can choose between two different EQ types that have different bands on them. So it's really cool to be able to choose exactly where you wanna go ahead and move everything. Then for the super rad rotary foot switches, I absolutely love these. I love how they feel and just how tight and solid built they feel as well. And it's also just super satisfying to twist them. <laughs> your first one is compression where you have five separate ratios to choose from and of course it's really cool to be able to experiment with how much compression and where that ratio sits with your overall tone. For the drive section Dark Glass has sort of switched it up a bit and I really appreciate them sort of just changing things because your first preset is a clean tube preamp which sounds fantastic. That full tube warmness but it's not super gritty either. <laughs> Then your next drive options are the vintage microtubes, B3K, then a super awesome vintage microtubes multiband as well as the B3K multiband. And then the final foot switch is for your cab IRs where you're able to go into the Dark Glass Suite app either on your computer or on your phone and choose between so many different cabs and mic placements too. And then on top of that, you have your DI out on the side with your ground lift switch for noise, your input jack, auxiliary in, headphone volume, your headphone input, your left and right balanced output, then your power in as well as MIDI in and USB too. There is a lot of things that you're able to really accomplish. There's really so many different possibilities with the Microtubes Infinity and the different ways that you're able to use it too. And it's so much fun, but for some people, I bet it is kind of a steep learning curve, but there's so many things that you're able to achieve with this one box. I would really say for pros starting off, it sounds 
fantastic. I love that classic vintage microtube sound as well as of course the B3K circuit as well. But man, it's so good to hear that vintage microtubes again. With the addition of both of them having that multiband drive on the drive section too, it's so much fun to mess around with. Then on top of that, you can edit and save presets, use this as an audio interface. There's a built-in tuner, Bluetooth pairing, the performance lock so nothing gets moved around while you're playing on stage, MIDI in, and the ability to change the signal chain from the actual dark glass suite too is a really nice feature. But the Microtubes Infinity isn't perfect, but that's okay. I feel that there's a lot of really great positives about this. It's just, of course, not perfect because really nothing is. Again, I think one of the biggest cons is probably the potential learning curve that a lot of people might experience just because there is so much to take in. But again, once you really start figuring it out and playing around and messing with everything, it's so intuitive and so useful in so many different situations too. There's also no effects loop. I feel like this is something that's been brought up since the Atom first came out. And while I understand using the same chassis for different pedals, it would have been really nice to have the addition of an effects loop. And then finally, while you're able to have six presets, basically A, B, C, D, E, F, you're only able to access those first three from the pedal itself. To access those other threes, you need to do it either by MIDI or USB. And while this isn't a huge deal, I just wish there was an easier option that you would be able to choose D, E, and F on top of that too from just the pedal. And so overall, the Microtubes Infinity is a great addition to the new lineup of pedals from Dark Glass. My really only big concern is I don't want them to get stagnant. I want more from Dark Glass. I want them to keep pushing that boundary. While I feel that these pedals are absolutely incredible and serve such a useful purpose, again, both in studio and on stage, I wanna see more from them, not just the same thing that's starting to sort of get repackaged. I wanna see more fuzzes. I wanna see some just wild out there effects. And while I love stuff like the Exponent 500, I wanna see more expansion onto that as well. But let me know what you guys think about the Microtubes Infinity. And thank you all so much for watching as always, for watching, subscribing, commenting, follow me on social media, all that crazy stuff. I truly do appreciate it. And a humongous thank you to my Patreon supporters as well. Mwah, mwah. If you wanna be like one of these gorgeous people right here and help support the channel every single month, and of course be included in some cool perks as well, go ahead and head on over to my Patreon page. But y'all, thank you again so much for watching as always. And of course, no matter where in the world you are, stay safe, practice that bass, wear your sunscreen, and I'll see y'all next time.